in this episode i'm going to share my little secrets about how to replay your script successfully in load runner and also i'm going to share how to housekeep your script after recording is done once the recording is done your script might look little messy so it is your responsibility to clean up before that the first step is to add the comments for your script so comments will help you and your teammates to understand what is the purpose of this script and what it is doing so always add comments at the top and also if you have any logic or if you have any correlations so add the comments appropriately so that in the subsequent builds you can understand what the script is doing and also it will help your teammates so your comments must have the scenario name or sample test data and the environment and also you can add the details about the date time and the project release everything once the comment is added before you replay make sure that all the transactions has been added or not each transaction should start with for example 01 underscore home page load and also end with the same transaction name and make sure that inside the transaction you must have only the http requests do not add anything other than http request for example think time web underscore add underscore cookie or clean up or anything other than the http request you try to keep it outside the transaction and also make sure that think time is constant so by default load runner captures the actual think time for example if you are taking 40 seconds so load runner will display here 40 seconds it is the best practice to keep it constant but in upcoming episodes i will tell you how to set up the right think time so as of now we go with constant think time across the transactions so lr underscore think underscore time as 5 seconds and also before you replay always go with default runtime settings so do not change anything here let it be default if there is any issue we need to tweak the settings here so before that go to tools options and select scripting and click on replay make sure that show a runtime you were during replay and auto arrange window check boxes are checked if you need any additional metrics during the replay you can select collect replay statistics this option will capture the hits throughput and number of new connections and it will display in the replay summary if you have nv enabled you can check this box display nv analytics report and after the replay you can select what to display whether you want to display the script or you want to display the replay summary so select replay summary and click on okay now i'm going to execute this script using the default settings and we will see whether the script is successful or not so during replay you can see the actual web page results in the runtime viewer so here you could see there is a an error 404 page not found even though the script is passed but the actual output is different from what we recorded so in the next episode i'm going to teach you how to correct this and replay it successfully so thanks for watching